The crop is in the ground. You've been collecting a ton of data for the past couple of months. Everything from planting date, to speed, to elevation, even GPS status. Now what do you do with this data? How do you make use of it? Let's go over some simple steps you can take to start making your planting data even more valuable. The first thing you need to do is to read your planting data into SMS. This planting data includes your as-applied data. As-applied data is anything recorded while you are performing an operation, in this case planting. Things like population, singulation, downforce, and seed spacing can all potentially be recorded and read into SMS. After your data is read into SMS, take a little time and analyze it. Is there anything that sticks out as obvious? Go after things that stick out and find a solution for those items first. Try not to get overwhelmed by the amount of data. Focus on one thing at a time and you'll soon find out that this is easier than it seems. Try looking at your row by row data layers. Is there a row or two that sticks out from the rest? One that has increased skips or doubles. What can you do to remedy that row? Use the tools in SMS to help you pinpoint the outliers in your data, or the low hanging fruit that is easier to resolve. If you're an SMS basic user, use the query tool to find out things like average planting speed for a certain field, or an area of a field. Which speed is the most efficient? If you use SMS Advanced, use the analysis feature to compare your planting speeds to your yield data at the end of the year to determine if different speeds have any correlation to yield. Focusing on things as simple as speed can have a large effect on your operation's bottom line. After you've analyzed your data, make a scouting regimen to make the most out of your time in the field. Are there certain areas you need to focus on? Any test strips you may have made? Areas of poor spacing or poor downforce that might need additional attention? Maybe the most important step in this process is to reflect and make a plan for next year. What do you need to do differently to make your planter perform to its peak potential? Do you need to make any management changes? Maybe slow the planter down? Maybe adjust your vac pressure? How did different seed sizes affect your planter's performance? Focusing on the low hanging fruit and making an action plan on those simple items can sometimes have the greatest return on your operation. And be sure to continue collecting good data throughout the year to help you make sound management decisions for next year's crop.